Hi everyone, welcome to We On Live broadcast from New York City. I'm your host, Susan Tehrani. Let's take a look at this hour's headlines before we go straight into our first story. Russian forces are conducting drills involving Yars mobile nuclear missile launchers in what would be the second such exercise in less than a month. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris will campaign in the critical battleground state of Wisconsin for the first time as a presidential candidate after enough Democratic delegates pledged to endorse her, clearing her path to the nomination. In the United States, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told families of hostages held in Gaza that a deal that would secure their release could be near as fighting rages in the battered Palestinian enclave. Palestinian faction Hamas and Fatah sign a declaration in Beijing on ending a years-long rift, taking a step towards resolving a deep dive which has lingered for years despite repeated attempts at unifying the sides. <clears throat> Unveils spending billions of dollars to create new jobs and satisfy key coalition partners in the first budget by Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government in his third term. A Chinese lunar probe found traces of water in samples of the moon's soil as the country pushes its ambitious space program into high gear. And the Paris Olympics is hit with its first COVID cases. Two Australian water polo players have tested positive for the virus and are currently isolating. For all the latest news, download the WeOn app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.